lovelies. So I just wanted to make this video because it is on my heart right now. And I just got done watching, this sounds so lame, but I just got done watching this documentary. I've been watching a lot of documentaries the past couple days because I've been feeling awful. Like really like want to rip my face off, like miserable. I took a midnight stroll out to the beach last night with my dog, which was terrifying. But... I really connect with the beach and it calms me so I felt no other choice but um, I watched this documentary and it was really interesting and I'm not going to talk about the documentary because it's a whole different topic because but it, it was just what one one woman said during the documentary and it was actually one not even sentence that she said and also um, I was watching through some of uh, mystery um, I think her tag is mystery 881 she comments sometimes on my videos. She's one of my subscribers. Check her out. Um, I will put her channel link down below. And she asks a lot of really interesting questions. And she asks them in different contexts than I do. But they still apply. So they get me to think a lot. And this is what this one statement got me to think about. And I'm going to read it because it is a very short sentence. But I don't want to mess it up. So the woman that said this it has congenital heart failure. So she doesn't know if she could live to 80, she could live a year, she could live six months. Um, but she said, who you are may all you ever be. So the concept of who you are right now in the next 10 minutes is all you ever might be. You might never be anyone besides the person you are right now. And that concept really connected with me. It was really poignant. And um, I know with Mystery, and I'm calling her Mystery because that's her um, tag, her channel name. But I really connected with Mystery because she was struggling with the concept of um, asexuality. And I don't want to say struggle because I don't know if she does. But not the, the concept of um, I struggle with this. Not being married or having kids or procreating and glorifying God through that way. So that's kind of what she was talking about. Like, well, why did God make me asexual if I'm not going to have this pretty much human norm? Like, that's what is kind of made to be the norm. Like, we get married, we have sex, we have babies, and that's our life. And, um... But I've struggled with that for a really long time because I want to be happy with who I am and that's not my nature. I struggle with this a ton. Um, I can honestly say I've, I, I never really have ever liked myself in any point in my life. Um, but I do understand the concept that I need to be because... All we're guaranteed is right now. And I'm not going to get super cliche and super like, live in the moment, YOLO. Like, no, I'm not going to get that way. I'm just saying that I need to be okay with right now, who I am at this very moment. And that is very interesting to me because if I'm happy with myself right now at this very moment, it's just me. It's not finding my value through going to church. It's not finding my value through um, how many people I've talked to or um, if I'm in love or how many children I have or if I have animals or um, it doesn't matter. Those things are important, but all that matters is right now because, I mean, I could be videotaping and right now kill over dad. And it is a really interesting concept to me because it's very calming to my spirit because I live in the future me like God's gonna miraculously heal me and then I'll be able to have a husband get married have kids do any of those things right now why God why me why do I feel this way am I do I even feel this way am I making it up in my head am I crazy and that's what I live in. I live in this why and this future me. And the fact of the matter is, is that I can't live in the future me. I need to live in the future now me. I need to live in me. 
um, because that glorifies God. Um, just being who he created. And he knows your struggles before you even go through them. So asking why is not really important to him because he knows why. It's just us that have this need to ask. And I really need to give that up. I really need to stop asking why me, why, what, what, do you, what do you want me to do, God, with this? What do you want me to do with this? And I think that he just wants me to love myself. And that's not going to happen because I read a quote or watch one of Mystery's um, videos or watch this documentary. That's not going to happen. But does focus me on that path of not living in the future me and finding value from the husband, the kids, being able to care for my parents when they aren't able to care for them, working with my brother to be able to work together and care for our parents. And the fact of the matter is, is like, those are all, it's a fantasy world. I don't know what's going to happen. And it does have expectation and when you don't meet them year after year you start to feel really horrible about yourself and you know like I remember when I was first diagnosed it was kind of like okay let's tackle this like let's get this done like you know we're gonna st I'm still gonna have a normal life and then each year that passes I think God, like how many years are am I, is this going to be happening to me? And then I start to get fearful because I think, look, look, I don't know if I can deal with this for another 10 years, another 20 years. Like, are we talking the rest of my life, God? Like, what are we talking about here? And the thing is, is that none of that matters because whether it's 10 minutes or 10 years, I'm still the person that I am. And I still have value and I still can glorify God. And um, whether I'm loved by other people or um, find someone that accepts and loves me or cares for me, um, whether I lose all of my friends and family, I'm still me. And there's a sense of yourself that you need to just love as much as God does because he created you and put you in these struggles for a good thing. And that's really a leap of faith. It re I mean, sorry for the like double entendre there, but um, it really is a leap of faith because you have to have faith that you have a purpose and whatever's going on with you has purpose. And it could be putting a comment in one of my videos that connects to someone that maybe doesn't even comment back to you that reads your comment like Tiffy she comments almost every single day on my videos someone could read someone could not even care about my videos but just get on to look at Tiffy's comments and to connect to those and you'd never even know it so we don't even know how we affect other people and how we change people's lives it's just putting ourselves out there enough to connect with one another and be ourselves and to be to be out there and be caring and let me know about her days and um, just be kind and ge like just a gentle person that she is commenting. You never know what it is. And um, so I know for me, I need to stop living in the future me and I'm really, really going to work hard on that. I would love to hear your guys' um, opinions and um, connection with this. If this is something that you do, um, especially with your illnesses, um, or if you're not ill, if it's something you still deal with, because I know I dealt with this before I was even ill. So, um, but I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. I am very sorry that this is not the upbeat me, but I am not feeling well. So. The giveaway is still going on and I'll still have the information down below and I'm sending out X double O's. Um, get subscribed to the channel because you can still win all those wonderful things and more. And um, I hope you guys are having a great day and I really appreciate you. So as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow.